What's going on? Hope all's well. Today is Sunday, November 10th, 2024. I'm going to a call in the New York State that said, the customer says that we were out there a couple weeks ago and it was a blown fuse, little 3 amp fuse. And they're waiting on a part, and he thought it was a 20 amp fuse. I don't know. It's just a bunch of hodgepodge. So I'm going to go up there and see what he's got. I think he said he has heat pump primary with a secondary auxiliary as a propane or gas furnace. And right now he's strictly on the gas furnace, and the fuse tripped again. But the reason why he's strictly on the gas furnace is because it was diagnosed that the heat pump was outside tripping the fuse so it sounds a little suspect to me but we'll see what it is what it is What's up, buddy? How are you? How are you doing? So what's going on? What's that? So you have the fuses blown. Oh, there's fuses. But they disconnected the heat pump. The secondary. They, 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 they say they bypassed it. I don't know what that means. Well, the, is it a carrier? What's that? Is it a carrier system? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you can do it on system control. Um, which one is downstairs? Yeah, okay. okay, I stand corrected. So this is a heat pump with hydro backup. So it's on propane, not a furnace. It's carrier infinity. And he's got a low voltage short. So someone was here and they diagnosed sensor was bad, but he said this has been happening for a couple of years, two years, I guess we put it in. And it's been people just come and change the fuse and letting it rock. But um, let's see what it is. Okay, so we have heat pump. I'm sorry. Yes, we have heat pump with backup. Hydronic heating. Twenty 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 one. So I hit my fingers. Manufacture date. Let's look at this. What does he got? Fuse. This is a fuse out already. He said. Okay. Blown fuse. Fuse, 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 nothing greater than 5 amp fuse. Start with the 5 amp. I believe these take the 5 amp anyway. Okay. So we're going to go upstairs and check for our system control. It's probably in, I would think. It's in, um, we're going to do auxiliary control. Let's see what's going on here. Well, this is just a start. Let me go upstairs. Are you out of Danbury? I live in Danbury, yeah. Okay. Smells like awesome Christmas in here, though. Just so you guys know. Christmas? Smells like just beautiful, like, holidays. Yeah, it's like, oh. like, actually like Thanksgiving, but, but the holidays, like... Really? Yeah, it smells good in here anyway. Yeah, that's the highest. That's a great compliment. Like, it, honestly... Smell my own house. Well, we would never do it, right? Sometimes that could be a bad thing, so, but your house smells awesome. Okay, so he does have it on hot water only, but if you turn the power on off outside, you're going to get that code every day. So what I'm going to do is put it in system and control, save, and then I'm going to go outside. I'll be right back. 
Okay, so what I was telling him is if you'll, you'll get an error code if you, even if you put boiler in control on that carrier thermostat, but if you pull the power, the disconnect outside, you're going to still get an error code of communicating. I want to put this on right now and see what's going on outside if the power's on because I want to turn because it wouldn't be the outdoor board if he's got the power pulled, right? Well, no, because he has system in control. So if the power's pulled out there, that's going to tell me that it's not the outdoor unit. It could be the communicating part. But let's see. Let's go outside. here I mean a uh, Bluetooth I'm looking for oh or six nine four two user interface contact the capacity base to a hard reset Of a 6942 on the user interface. Is he, is he coming to do it Tuesday? When are they coming? I don't know who's coming. He, was, he came here once. Uh, he's a younger kid, right? All right, so my heat pump's heating, and we got the wrong serial number, but he said that's crazy, that's impossible. So I'm thinking. My tickets, my tag inside the heat pump should tell me the exact unit, and then I should find the 042, 6942, and 6940 maybe swapped on the door. So, see this 6940? That's what the thermostat said. And this says 6942. So, the thermostat's always right, if you ask me. If the board was changed, it should still pick it up. Outdoor temperature, coil temperature 41, outdoor, outside temperature 55. Suction pressure and heat, 106. 51 degrees suction temperature. Suction superheat, 17. Discharge, 287. All right, so this heat pump's heating. Let's check out what our fault is. Or why we were tripping a fuse, right? We're not going to just leave it because it didn't trip the fuse. Let's open it up. Let's check these wires, too. Mama, I'm coming home. What's that? Does that show up on camera? Look at that. Right there. That little nick will do it. There you go. That'll do it every time, especially if this is wired like That's that. Gonna, it's going to short right out. your problem we're gonna start this guy up make sure it's heating oh, boy. static pressure issue come on guy really nah bro it's not staying in there tonight it's not staying in there tonight you hear the ramp down on that wow He's gonna shut off this one right now. And it's this breaker here, so. Bedrooms is here, so. But I, I knew when I got here, because the power was off, but again, it's the main level. And that's just this thing that went off. That's good. Good stuff. There you go. Breakers, I mean, the panel's closed. Yeah, sometimes you spend more time with the prep than the actual job, right? Except I don't get paid like a surgeon. <laughs> 